Hey guys, Crag Dweller. Um, why don't you come join me? I'm gonna do another hike. I'm up here in the um, the White Mountains again of New Hampshire, and gonna do a two-nighter, like a 18, 20 mile loop. Um, I'm gonna go up what's called the Great Gulf Trail. Um, do the Washington Headwall, Mount Washington Headwall. It's pretty steep. I've done it once before with Main Dweller, but we had to bail out at the summit, so I'm gonna continue the hike now. Um, and then I'm gonna loop around, do Mount Clay, Jefferson, Adams, Madison, and come down the what's called the Osgood Trail, hopefully on Monday morning. So yeah, just getting started. It's 10 a.m. on Saturday. A little overcast, but there's no rain forecast. And um, I'm stoked, man, back in the whites. All right, come along, we'll have some fun. So this trail, the Great Gulf Trail, it, it uh, parallels this, the Peabody River, um, for quite a ways, actually all the way to the uh, Mount Washington headwall, which I'll get to probably tomorrow morning first thing. But um, yeah, like I said, it parallels the river, or the stream if you will, and it's like in situations like this is normally, it's pretty dry now, but it's normally, you know, a good puddle right here. And you can see the trail, it's slimy, wet rock on, for the most part. And there are some dry sections, but it's rocky, mossy, slippery, and absolutely beautiful. All wrapped in one, folks. So yeah, water's not an issue, obviously. And um, yeah, I'm having a blast. I think it's around, well, when I hit the trailhead, it was 61 degrees. And it's humid as hell, though. Again, welcome to New England. Um, but it's manageable. It's not bad. So, yeah, I'm making good time. I'm not kicking it hard. I'm just kind of really enjoying the hike. Uh, going at a good pace. And uh, taking it all in. It's good to get away, folks. So, it's, um, it's 4 o'clock, I've been hiking since 10, 15, so I'm kind of tired. Um, I'm at the base of Mount Washington and Clay and Mount Jefferson, and I'm on the, uh, again, I'm in the big Gulf wilderness on the Great, 
or the Great Golf Wilderness on the Great Golf Trail. And I'm almost to the point where there's a place called Spalding Lake, but it's, uh, there's really no camping um, beyond a few designated sites that I've seen. But I wanted to get further along down the trail, um, so I passed up a spot about two miles ago, hoping I could find something, and I was kind of starting to get a little panicky because most of the underbrush is like that, and hammock, tent, whatever you're doing, it's kind of tough. So I'm walking along, and I see this, what looks like a little tiny impression off trail, so I said, screw it, let's try it. So I stepped up in here, and uh, lo and behold, there's a couple tent sites up here. Um, not the prettiest things, but they're a flat spot. Obviously, I think people probably come up here in the winter snowshoeing and have fires and stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm stoked. What a beautiful spot. It's good to know it's here for the future. There's plenty of room right here for my tent, but it's a little bit muddy. So I think what I'm going to do is here's a, a drier area gonna be really tight for my tent but I think I got enough room to get it in there a long way this way somebody had another fire there so yeah it's gonna be home for the first night tonight man probably got another I don't know three four hours of daylight I'm guessing but like I said I'm tired I set up my tent have something to eat and just relax. No bugs, thank God. Uh, right now, anyway. Hasn't been any all day, really. So, yeah. Thanks for coming along. Um, maybe I'll go down by the the uh, river there after I eat. Check it out again. So peaceful. Peace. All right. <clears throat> As my setup, I managed to just squeeze the tent in this spot. It's gonna be great. Stand by. Mmm, goldfish. All right. Got a new uh, 50 foot length of paracord, 550 paracord to use for my bear bag. So while my water's heating up, I'm going to take a little walk and try to find a suitable branch. It's kind of tough around here with all these, all these uh, hemlocks and pole pine. They, there's not many big branches to hang a bag off of. I'll find something, though. Sometimes you can find a leaner like that. But that one's too close. It's only 20 yards from my camp, so I'll find something. Or something, excuse me. Yeah, like I said, now it's five. Um, it's a little early for camp, but like I said, I am tired, so I'm just gonna enjoy uh, the rest of the evening and get get a good night's sleep. I got a big day tomorrow. You can't see it from here. Actually, it's over there. It's the um, I think I mentioned it earlier. It's the uh, Great Gulf Was uh, Mount Washington. They call it the Head Wall. It's brutal. It's seven, it, it rises 1,700 feet in, I think, a half mile or less than a mile. It's, uh, did it, like I said, I did it once before with Main, uh, Main Dweller, and it was brutal. So that's the plan for tomorrow. I'll get a good early start, and I'll be going up there. You can't see it. Mount Washington's over there. But that, I believe, is Mount Clay. You can probably see it through the trees. I'll be doing a ridge walk, basically. Mount Clay... 
to Jefferson, which, that's just Jefferson's knee. It's like a false summit, the actual summit beyond that. And then Adams and Madison and then down the Osgood Trail. So, yeah, it's a big, big day tomorrow. There's no real camping up on the summit, so depending on how I do with time tomorrow, I might have to drop down off the ridge and camp somewhere if I don't if I don't get as far as I um, am planning on getting I might have to drop down and camp somewhere but yeah I got lucky with this site um, like I said it's really hard to just go off trail here and just pitch your tent there's no open spaces really see it's mostly like that everywhere a lot of uh, undergrowth that's one of the reasons I had switched to the hammock because, you know, even out there you can hang your hammock high and get off the ground and throw a tarp up and it's not bad. But I've just um, fallen in love with this tent and my new uh, the sleeping pad I've been using. I've been sleeping great in it. So, yeah, I got to get the hammock out sooner or later here because I do sleep good in it as well. Um, I just find this setup to be, I don't want to say easier, but it is a little simpler in a sense um, but yeah we'll see all right I'm gonna check my water and uh, eat and then go hang my bear bag I'll talk to you in a bit morning Sunday morning it's pretty cold I was plenty warm I had I was using my um, 20 degree uh, hammock gear burrow over quilt down over quilt instead of my synthetic bag I was plenty warm but I'm guessing it's probably in the mid 40s right now Snug as a bug. Yeah, no, uh, no condensation yet. Yeah, I'm sure when it gets colder out, I, I'll probably experience some. It's all right. So I have some coffee, a little bit to eat, and hit the trail. I wanted to get up earlier. I just slept good, but um. The sun's coming up over there, and it should be like it is projecting right down the gulf. So when I'm climbing the head wall, probably within an hour or two, hopefully it'll be on my back. It'll probably feel pretty good. All right. I'm going to uh, have some coffee and uh, get on the trail.
Climbing up out of the Great Gulf here, heading towards the uh, Washington Headwall. Beautiful morning. And yeah, this is the trail. Be heading up there after Washington along that ridge all the way down to Madison. All right. Big old toad. <clears throat> so I'm getting close to a spot, a lake called Spalding Lake. It's right in the bottom of this gulf. And uh, I'll show you that. It should be up here in about I don't know, a quarter of a mile. But I'll show you that when we get up there. All right, or excuse me, when I get up there. All right. Okay, Spalding Lake. Not really sure why they call it a lake. It's really not that big. It's more like a pond, but... Nonetheless, I don't think there's any fish in it. It's fairly shallow, maybe two or three feet at the most. It probably freezes solid in the winter, I'm sure. It is pretty, though. Um, so I wanted to get up to this point and get up on the ridge up there early in the day, so that's good. Although I'm not up there yet, obviously. Just to avert late afternoon storms. It is cloudy. The head wall is up there. It's a, like I said, it rises 1,700 feet in, uh, I think it's half a mile or so. And then up over that ridge, there's another half mile to the summit of Washington. But what I'm going to do, since I've already summited Washington, and it's not much to look at, it's kind of, it's a, you know, there's cars up there and a lot of people and weird looking buildings. It's not very attractive. So what I'm going to do, since I want to go that way anyway, is before the summit, I'm going to get on the, um, uh, Great Gulf Trail and avert the summit of Washington and then do uh, the other summits Clay and Jefferson and Adams and Madison. So yeah, I got a big day ahead of me. I just wanted to show you this. I'm gonna stop here and eat a snack maybe and uh, Get on up Again, the top is shrouded in clouds, but there are patches of blue sky. So I'm hoping hoping for the best All right Crag dweller, thanks for coming along. Hey, right, we're starting to starting to climb the bottom of the head wall. Um, getting out of the greenery if you will it's up there and this is the um, view thus far of the Great Gulf absolutely fantastic just like I remember it just fantastic Spalding Lake where I was a little while ago was right right little dark spot right down there it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, man. So, Main Dweller, if you happen to watch this, I want to dedicate this portion of the hike to you, buddy. Maybe you can um, show it to your loved ones and show them what you did, man. All right. Main Dweller and I did this damn near five years ago now. And, uh, it was quite an experience, but neither one of us had a camera at the time, so no pictures or video, but hopefully this will do, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, to say I have a big day ahead of me is an understatement. I gotta get up on there and basically end up at some point 
coming down that ridge way over there, that big prominent ridge. So yeah, I gotta get moving. It's uh, 10 of 10. All right, gotta go. So this is the trail. You can see Spalding Lake better, it's down there. All right, I'll talk to you when I'm up there. All right. Cool caves. There's one there and there's one up there. That one goes back quite a ways. I don't think I'll be going up in there though. Not solo anyway. All right, onward and upward. Washington Summit. Little change of plans. So, came up the head wall, I'm just exhausted, started feeling weird coming up, I think I'm getting the flu or something, I don't know, just really weak, I ate some food, waited about an hour, went up to the summit, looked around, the summit's up there, debated what to do, I just feel really weird. I don't know. Kind of felt bad yesterday, but wanted to get up here anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is go up here, do a little road walk down about two miles, and then dip down onto a, a trail that I passed coming up the Great Gulf. Um, spend the night down there somewhere, and then uh, head home tomorrow. Yeah, sorry guys. I just uh, I think it's a smart thing to do. Um, I'll get back up here again and finish this portion of the hike. I always seem to manage to, so I'm not real worried about it. But I'll uh, I'll do some filming later when I get down onto the trail again. All right, thanks. So what I'm doing is, like I said, it took like a two mile, maybe a little more, walk down the. Auto, auto road, the Mount Washington auto road, and I'm going to um, duck down back into the Great Gulf via the Wham Sutter Trail. The Great Gulf Trail is 1.7, but it's just like the head wall, maybe not as extreme, it's pretty much straight down, but yeah, I think I'll do that, hit the Great Gulf Trail, hopefully feel a little better. I really feel bad, that's what I was going to do, that whole ridge all the way over there. They got Mount Clay. Jefferson, Adams, Madison, and I would have been coming down the Osgood Trail, which is down that ridge there. Another day, though.
for sure another day. All right. Ironically, in uh, the three mile descent down the auto road, I started feeling better, but of course that's the way it goes. Have a little strength. Maybe it's because I ate more. I don't know. I just feel weird. I don't feel right. So I'm going to call this. I'm still going to spend another night down, down there and head out in the morning, but I just didn't think I had it in me to do that. Kind of sucks. The weather's perfect, um, but there'll be other days. All right, I will see you a little later. So I'm on the Wam Soda Trail, heading back down to the Great Golf Trail. <clears throat> And uh, let's see, it's quarter of two. It's not a bad place to take a lunch break with that view. Pretty nice. This trail isn't used that much apparently, so I'm actually sitting down having some ramen. Some ramen noodles. Let's see, a piece of beef stick. Uh, that's about it. Probably eat the same thing tonight, maybe with some uh, sardines or something. Yeah. All right, feeling better. But I don't know, maybe I'm coming down something. Maybe I just, uh, maybe the head wall just took it out of me. I don't know, I am tired, but. Oh, it sucks getting old, man. All right, I'll talk to you later. Ascending still into the Great Gulf. You can see now why they call it the Great Gulf. It's a huge valley, if you will. It's awesome. Um, at some point, looks like right over here, I'm going to be going down something fairly steep. Kind of has to to get down to the bottom at some point. All right. See you in a bit. I had read somewhere, I forgot where, that this particular trail is really steep. Um, yeah, it is. It's insane. That's the trail right there. I'm having to toss down my trekking poles and hand climb down. Yikes. Plus I'm not feeling well. Can't wait to get off this. Get down on some fairly level ground. Well, I just rejoined the Great Gulf Trail. It's four Five minutes of four. Man, oh man, that descent oh, off of there was the toughest thing I've ever done backpacking. I think I'd rather go up the head wall again than come down there. That was awful. I am beat to death. Oh, it's kind of nice to get on a somewhat normal trail again. So I'm gonna try to go like 1.7, almost two miles to a place called the Bluff where I know this camping spot. Hopefully there's not anybody there. And I'm going to set up camp and just chill, man. I'm done. Feeling a little better, although I felt nauseous like I was going to throw up a little while ago. But I feel better psychologically now that I'm back on a trail that I'm familiar with. All right, I'm going to be quiet and head on down the trail. So I made it to where I wanted to be. The place called The Bluff. Uh, it's pretty nice, I mean, for an established campsite. Found a nice place to pitch a tent. Yeah. Dog tired. Sun setting over there. Should be nice later on. All right. I will talk to you later. So there's my setup. Different perspective. Right inside this established campsite. Uh, right off trail. The trail's right down here. But yeah, it's pretty flat there. It's hopefully good. Up on this rock, obviously. Oh, what an absolutely gorgeous afternoon. Well, afternoon. It's quarter after six. I just wanted to show you what, what I can see of the sunset. 
Just awesome. It's a great gulf. Kind of goes up and around that way. Man, that's pretty. All right. I think I'm gonna have some hot chocolate and some ramen noodles and go to bed and totally exhausted. Absolutely exhausted and then I'll um, pack up. I got a little less than, I think it's like 2.6 miles out to the car in the morning, so, or to my truck. And I'll head home. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'll uh, talk to you later. Well, good morning, guys, gals. Monday morning, it's heading out. Got up around six. Right now, it's a little before seven. Feeling better today. I think I just didn't eat enough yesterday. But anyway, it'll be another day for sure. Very strenuous hike, but I enjoyed every minute of it. Had a great night's sleep again. And I um, just want to show you one more shot at the Peabody River here. Hope everybody's doing well. And thanks for watching. As always, uh, happy trails, and we'll see you on the next one.